Welcome back to the White Explorer channel everyone. It's a lovely day and I'm out to um, walk to a place called West Hyde where there's another spring. The last spring was Brayton. This one is on the roadside, a main road, but it's beautiful. It used to be the village spring. So I'll take a few shots along the way, I'll explain my route, and I'll see you there. Alright, this is all about water today. Catch you up. A tip when climbing gates in the countryside, always climb closer to the hinge. Very pretty alongside the road here. I wonder what it smells like. Mmm. Oh, that's beautiful. If only you could smell this. It's wonderful. It smells like a rose. It's probably a wild rose. Does anybody know what it is? That's wonderful. Well, we're here, just on the road. Yeah, batteries ran out. All right, we're still heading towards the spring. Yeah, it's lovely. These simple walks, simple pleasures. Just smelling a rose, or a wild rose, I imagine. Makes my day. <laughs> I'm choosing a, a, a back route, keeping away from the main road as best I can. I shouldn't uh, come across too many cars out the back here. We're out the back of a village called Lugwardine. So we're skirting Lugwardine, we're walking parallel to the village of Lugwardine. Evidently named after the River Lug, which we've just... Um, uh, walked, traversed alongside Lugwardine. <laughs> All right, which is uh, one of the River Wise major tributaries, guys. It's, uh, it's about 65 mile long and it starts up in Pool Hill. And we've walked it. And if you wanna check out a link above, down below, of our River Y walk back in 2013. This is an old walk and it's on another channel of mine called Mark on the Way. These are old videos. Beautiful, I love them. But they are old, you know, the production value, etc. But I recommend them. They're in six parts. It's in six parts. The walk of the lug from Source to Confluence at Mordeford. All right, I'll bring you back if anything interesting occurs. We're on our way to West Hyde, to the spring. We have a pleasant meadow to walk in now. To walk in, walk through. It's been left to its own devices, largely. It's probably for hay. Don't come across many Wildflower meadows nowadays. There aren't that many wildflowers in here. There are a few, but it's not a wildflower meadow as such. But it is very pleasant. On what is a wonderful day. Okay, onward. The spring. In 
I've just read the map and we've got three kilometres of road bashing now in one straight line. Until we get to a rail line I can actually hear, hear the train now. So we're heading east towards the Mulvans if you like for three kilometres and then well more road bashing. We step onto a main road then before getting to the spring. All right bring you back. That's what you get out here. Very pleasant places. Hello, beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. I just wanted to say hello. All alone there. We got a hello. <laughs> Another quiet, yeah, just under 2k. Nice and steady. I used to play down here when I was a kid uh, with Paul. Tristan Gallagher, uh, Simon Cooper, I'll give Simon a shout out, hiya Simon, remembering Cooper's country mate, <laughs> that was his dad, that was Simon's dad, his dad was part of a country music band called Cooper's Country, and by all accounts they were very good, but yeah I remember Simon's well, coming down here, cycling down here when we were young, it's about four mile outside of Hereford, Yeah, northeast of Hereford. Yeah, fond memories. Enjoying a bit of the hedge. That's where the best greens are, huh? We're in Paul Outdoor country here, guys. Right at the back, Paul. Heading towards West Hyde. Just a quick hello. How you doing? Yeah, these farms, they often haven't got the money nowadays, have they? Keep their outbuildings in good shape. I thought, what's in there? Let's have a look. And what do you know? This is old school. Livestock. There's an old trough over there, a little tiny trougher. Can you see that? Completely old school. This hasn't been used for a while. Well, I love the idea that it was used, do you know what I mean? There was good old farming going on here once. And the reason I've got nostalgia about it is because my granddad and my nan were farmers. I remember Oak Dean when I was a young boy. Me, Paul, my sister Tracy. Mum would take us up there on a Sunday, you know. It's only a small farm but um, very similar to those outbuildings. Yeah, good memories. <laughs> North Herefordshire that was. Can't do without the sunlight, can we? None of us, not even the tree. Not beautiful. 
set to be an ancient one maybe. There's the main road. There it is guys, right on the main road. I came here nine years ago. Different back in the day. I mean, it's right on the road. Yeah, there would have been little to no traffic back then. But here's the spring at Shucknell. Absolutely amazing, love it. It's been a good walk getting here. And there's a little plaque as well. Yeah, I'll try and read it. It's sandstone, so it's a bit eroded. Um, yeah, I can't read it. The water in the stream. Yeah. It says we'll be prosecuted. <laughs> Something. Fred Fowles. Yeah, I can't read it. But here's the spring. It's probably good water, that guys. So I'm going to fill up. All right, mate. How you doing? Hey, I know you, don't I? Sorry? I know you. Really? Yeah, I've met you in Hereford. I think. I don't remember. Do you, where do you where do you work? Do you work at for Halo? No, no, I work for the repair solutions and a builder contractor. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, blimey! You look similar. Uh, I get that a lot, people. You do look similar, yeah, mate. I, I, I hear that quite a bit. People saying do, that. Uh, do you mind cameras? No, no, no. It's going on YouTube. All right. What are you doing? It's all about the spring today. I'm about to get some water. Ah, it's good water, mate. Yeah, I'm about to get my car and get some bottles. You're going to fill it up, mate, isn't it? Yeah, so that's the plan. You know? <laughs> Would have been different back in the day. This road, little to no traffic back then. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's this place. It's pretty there. They told me the water down here is brilliant. It's cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's about I've time. drank it before, but it's a long time since I've been back, so. Oh, okay, okay. You, you live around here, do you? Uh, Hereford, mate. Yeah. 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 Um, what was your name? Luke. Luke. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, Have a good day. Second, oh no, keep keep <laughs> keep your eyes open, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's how good the water is, guys. Yeah, Luke is saying he's gonna fill up too. Good water. Oh, a lovely spring. Yeah, it's good. Uh, you can taste the nutrients in that. Do you know what I mean, Luke? I'm about to find out. You can taste the minerals in it, man. Yeah, you can taste the minerals in that, man. Cold. So cold. Yeah, it's all been filtered, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. That's what we came for today. Shucking all spring water, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I've just done Brayton Springs, see? Mm -hmm. So there's a few more springs I want to go to. Yeah. And, uh, wow, that's good. Yeah, that is good, isn't it, mate? That is good water. Yeah. Right. You've been Brayton? Sorry? Brayton Springs? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, a surveyor. I'm, I'm just heading out this way for the time being. And I'm... Oh, you're not from Herefordshire? No, no, no. I'm oh, yeah, yeah. in, um, in Dudley. Oh, right. Over in, uh, right in the Eden. Black Country. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's good yeah. to be out here, though, eh? I love it. Yeah, mate. Beautiful place. Definitely. I love the countryside. By the way, uh, check out Y Explorer. Y Explorer on YouTube. Yeah. Th this will be uploaded in a few weeks. Okay, yeah, sure. Well, um, yeah, so, as in the River Y. Okay. Y Explorer. Yeah. I know. I'm, all right, mate. I There's hikes and all sorts on there. I'll put some comments on for you. Okay, yeah. mate. Definitely. Take care. Take care. Okay. Let's fill up. Yeah, 
that's good water. Amid the speed in traffic. <laughs> I'll fill up this bottle and the bladder and we'll talk about the water a bit more in a bit more detail. <clears throat> but we've got to get off this main road. Ah oh, look at that. That's coming straight out the hill. It's been filtered beautifully. It's just as I remember it, when Paul and I came here, <clears throat> back in 2011. It's just as I remember it. All right, absolutely wonderful. It was good meeting that guy, Luke. Take care, Luke. He's just pulled away now. Okay, absolutely fantastic. I'll take some photos. Yeah, Shucknell. And uh, that's the way to West Hydewood. First time back in nine years. I just had this really strong feeling of how good the walk was nine years ago when Paul and I came up here. It was such a good walk. <laughs> Yeah, the main road's down there. Yeah, that water, absolutely amazing. Of course, a lot of these places back then, well, if not all of them, didn't have running water. They had to come and collect their water, either off their own property or at some kind of, uh, community facility. You can see it in villages throughout the country. Little springs, you know. Some of them are beautifully set up with a nice spout and others like that are a little bit more rugged. But you can see there is a bowl at the base of the spring there, at the base of the outlet. Of course, water would have been perceived very differently back then, wouldn't it? You know, I mean, we turn a tap and there it is. We don't even think about it, a bit like breathing. But back then you had to collect it. And I would imagine that you appreciated water a lot more back then. I mean, I've had to walk, oh, let's have a look. That's about seven mile here, roughly. Um, there are people walking further distances than that to get water in various parts of the world. But I've walked seven mile to taste that water, to fill my bladder up, to fill my water bottle up, meet Luke, and then walk back home. I'm gonna walk up to this wood, swing back round, drop, drop down the other side to West Hyde, into Withington, and then back into Hereford. Be about 14 mile, but I've not measured the distance yet. I will do when I get back home. But yeah, water, it's a precious resource, isn't it? And yet, we don't see it as such nowadays. It just comes out of a tap. Most people, 
you know, dare I say mainstream people, whatever you want to say, uh, who are kind of uh, consumers in their mentality, don't even think about it. You do when you're walking and hiking long distance, you know the value of water then, when you have to find a water source and filter it and this, that and the other. And that's what's brilliant about hiking long distance. You do get to appreciate these things. You can take yourself out of that rat race, that consumer rat race, and learn to appreciate these things through long distance hiking. And that's what a lot of people do. And that's what I do. I do the same. I do these things to appreciate life. That's no better way back there. That water was brilliant. And I've got a nice water bottle full of it. <laughs> and a bladder. All right. That's it from me, guys. I'm gonna walk the wood. It's gonna be a bit private. It's gonna be personal. Unless I see something extraordinary, like a, like a herd of deer. Uh, that'll be it from me, from Shucknell in Herefordshire. Well, if you like that, if you like the water, if you like Luke, if you like the walk, give us a thumbs up, guys. See if we can get it over 100. That'd be amazing. <clears throat> if you wanna comment, there's a fair bit in that video. It was good, I enjoyed that. If you wanna comment, you know me, I always get back to you. You know, uh, leave a comment below if you wanna share a thought. And if you want to subscribe, don't forget to hit the button below. I look forward to your company. All right, that was brilliant. Really enjoyed your company. Enjoyed sharing that with you. Here, I'll leave you with this view. This is amazing. This is the Froome Valley here. The river Froome flows at the base of this valley. Paul and I have walked that river too from source. <laughs> that flows through Bromyard. Check it out. Beautiful view. I'll leave you with this. Okay. See you again. Bye now.